Footsteps to follow, footsteps to make Moments of light, wishing to take them Over and over with never an end Take a step backward and take them again Footsteps to follow, footsteps to make New things to learn, a new lesson to take Learning from every success and mistake Footsteps Footsteps to follow, footsteps to make Footsteps Discipline, I guess probably the most talked about, the most worried about aspect of child rearing is discipline. And that's got to be because we're all worried. I know that, uh, you know, even taking the two of us, we were raised completely different as far as discipline was concerned. Yeah, I, I came from a family that yelled a lot and, mm -hmm. and uh, I got smacked and I was punished a lot. I think I was punished for most of my life. And, um... <laughs> I know, I'd ask, you know, why, and they'd say, because, and I'd say, because why, and they'd say, because I said so, or they'd say, because why is a crooked letter? Always All made solid all... reasons. Yeah. Well, I was raised completely the opposite. I was, uh, I was the product of a very permissive home. My, my parents let me do anything I wanted. Uh, there was no real strict guidelines set down for me. And uh, I don't know if that was right either. Uh, How come you landed up the yellow and I landed up the quiet one? Don't know. I don't know. I think probably both ways were not exactly correct. And I think the, the reason, again, going back to why discipline is so talked about, is nobody knows really exactly what's right. Come on. Sandy, the playground budget is right in line with the mayor's budget and management office. Now, my job is to make sure that it stays in line. Oh, baby, I know that. Look, all I'm saying is that some of the mothers at the daycare center who have older kids, they feel that just not enough of the recreation money is being spent on teenagers, you know? Well, what do they want to do, huh? Have another one of those marches on City Hall? Ooh, honey, hold on a minute, okay? Sandy? Listen, listen, honey. I don't mean to be jumping on you like this over the phone, but I... Yeah, look, I, I think maybe we ought to talk about this when you come home, okay? How soon? Well, I should be home at 5.30. I got one more meeting, but it shouldn't... Have to... Sandy. Hey, look, I'm on the phone talking to Daddy, okay? okay. So go in the living room till I finish, then we'll play. Go okay. figure out something that you want to do next. Sandy. Oh, hi, honey. Look, I'm sorry, really I am, but the kids just came in, and my sister came over to use the wash and the dry, and she brought Gary. Sandy, have you finished your paper yet? Gary, please take everybody back outside until your Aunt Sandy and I get finished. Sandy. Sandy, will you make the kids keep quiet so you can finish your work? I'm gonna get something else for them to do right quick. Look, I'll see you at 5.30, baby. Bye-bye. Yeah. yeah. Bye. Mm. Now, say, didn't I tell you all to stay outside till I finish this ironing? Hey, Marcella, it's all right. Look, they're just figuring out what to do next. They are gonna turn right around and march right back outside next. Come on. Mama! We could choose what we wanted to do. Say what? Now, boy, I am going to choose to set your backside on. Oh, come backside. on. That's good looking out for Gary and Marcella. I did tell the kids that we would get together and choose the next thing for them to do. Okay, gang, let's have our conference. Let's choose the next thing for you to do, okay? Now, I have some work to do down here, so I want you to play upstairs. Uh, any suggestions? Well, okay, I have one. Uh, why don't you take your instruments upstairs and make up dances to the music. No, no, no. Okay, well, do you have any suggestions? Okay, tell me. Mom, Sandy, can we play with Mark's train? Oh, sure. Does everybody want to do that? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
No, I am not going upstairs to watch Wall while you're playing with your trains. No. Mm -mm. Sandy, you know Gary's going to start fighting and Mark's going to get hurt again. Oh, Marcella, it'll be all right. Won't it, Gary? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Play with the track. Now, I better not hear any noise. Oh, yes, Miss Lady. We sure hear and obey. <laughs> Sandy, where did you get this job about choices from, huh? You get that out of your college books or what? Different places. I'm just trying to pull some ideas together and use them, okay? Mm hmm Sandy, you better pull yourself together. Because if you don't, Mark and Portia will be running all over you. All right, Marcella. When we try to run something like that on Mama, we wouldn't have sat down for a week talking about, we want to choose what we want to do. I've been trying. Does this button go up for steam or what? Why, you... Come on, shrimp. Come on. Get you. No kicking, please. Marcella, how are black children supposed to survive in this modern world if they never learn to make decisions but for themselves? Sandy. You won't listen to anybody but those books, will you? Well, maybe I didn't finish college, Sandy. But I do know how to raise my kid. Hey, Ma! Oh, my God, what is that? That's what you get for raising your kids out of a book, Sandy. If you just listen to me in the first place, no, wait for me, Sandy. Quiet down. Quiet down. Marcella, what's going on? Ask your wife, Ted. She's got all the answers. Now, come Sandy, on. Sandy, what's going on? Now, look, Ted, I don't need this kind of aggravation, not from my own family. But... All right. Let's quiet down. Marcella, you take Gary and just go on home, will you please? Uncle Ted, please. I was just trying to show him. We was just playing. Gary, I have told you not to box with your cousin, haven't I? Now we're going to get our laundry and go home. Boy, I told you that Mark is too small for you to be fighting. All set? At last. <laughs> hey, thanks for your help, baby. And look, I'm, um, I'm sorry things were in such a state when you came home, okay? Oh, listen now, it's all right. <laughs> you better get your raincoat. It look like it's gonna rain outside. My raincoat? Why don't you try the upstairs closet, hmm? Right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, yeah? Look, I thought you were always cool. Daddy told me not to make a sound. Or else. Or else. Well, hey, look. Mom's all finished with her work now. So why don't we go downstairs to Daddy? You don't think you should go downstairs until Daddy calls you, do you? Um... Well, can I get you something now? How about your drawing board or your new book? My new book. Okay, your new book it is. Hold on, Jim. Here you go. I love you. I too. you threaten Mark? Come on, 
Sandy, baby. It's getting late. You got to go. Mark is sitting up there scared of being hit. But I didn't have to hit him, did I? And it got you some quiet so you can finish your paper. Now, what's the problem, Mommy? Can he come down now? But first things first, okay? Yeah. Ted, you know I don't like threatening. Yeah, and I don't like you being late to collect that A either, baby. Now get going, huh? Come on, I'll see you later. Making it A, huh, baby? Right on. Look at how would you feel tomorrow if we got some more tracks, huh? That feels great. You like that? Okay. Marshall Special. <laughs> Coming to an end. <laughs> okay, champ. Come on. It's time for you to go to bed, okay? Yeah, why do I have to go to bed when I'm not tired? Because I told you so. And you got to give that nose a little rest, right? Then my nose doesn't hurt anymore. Well, that's good, Mark, but you still need to rest. You know, you're going to have to learn how to razzle-dazzle with that footwork. Hey, show me how, show me how. Okay. Maybe tomorrow. Okay? Okay. That is dope. Now you go to sleep. Keep down, keep What's happening, man? Where's your lady, man? Listen, I huh? just put the kids in bed. Oh, yeah, the kids! Hey, so what the you kids? Doing, man? You better come, come back out here, man. Out here now. Where you at? What are you doing? Man, come back. Hey, man. Hey, there's my sweet thing. Hey, girl. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here's Uncle Sonia. Come on, hey. Hey, give me some sugar now. Give me Uncle Sonia a big kiss here. Oh, Lord. Uncle Sonia! Hey! Uncle Sonia! Hey! Look who's here. It's the little man. All right, all right. Whip it on me now. All right, all right. Hold up, there, go. All right. What you got? both to go back to bed. You've seen your Uncle Sonny. No, Dad. I want to stay up with Uncle Sonny. Yeah. No. <laughs> I told you to get back in that bed, boy, and you do it right uh, now. Okay, Chip. I'll check you out tomorrow, here. Yeah? Mm, okay, sweetness. Now you get back in bed now, okay? Okay, Uncle Sonny, see you tomorrow, all right? Okay? Okay. Hey man, I heard from another major league scout. We're gonna try out again. Yeah, we didn't heard all that before. What else? Is that? You still got that job tending bar, don't you? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I I'm really gonna be in shape this time, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Hey, come on. At least my own brother could give me some encouragement. Everett, you don't need me to tell you that you got talent. Talent has never been your problem. Hmm. It just takes discipline. Wow, your jaws are really tight tonight, <laughs> calling me Everett. <laughs> you know, you look just like Pop sitting there with that attitude. Why did you come by here, man? Hmm? OK. OK, you got it, my brother. Look, I hate to hit on you again, but uh, my financial situation ain't exactly what it's Well, I ain't <laughs> lending you no more money. Hey, we didn't talked about this before. Now, I keep telling you, get your program together. Hey, everybody. Hey, Sonny, Sonny. Sonny. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> hey, come here, girl. Now, I, I, got, I got some good news for you. There's going to be a major league superstar in the family, girl. Oh, yeah, God. winning games and wearing and driving the best. Now, and, and showering all the ladies with my very expensive favors. So you got a contract. Well, the deal ain't set yet, but um, I'm trying out again. Oh. Oh, sure, Sonny. Look, that's great. I bet you go all the way. Oh, no question. I just hope I can get up the bread to go to training camp. Sandy's not lending you any money either, man. Oh, Ted, Sonny's just trying... Trying to... to hustle his family again. But he's not getting away with it this time, Sandy. Hey, wait, Ted. Sonny's just trying yeah, to talk Ted, about just the... Yeah, right Ted, Listen, man. Who offered you the money three years ago to stay in school? No, I don't need no degree to be playing no pro baseball. 
all right? So who got you a gig right down in my own department, man? Huh? I mean, I risked my reputation to help you, man. Oh, man. Look, Ted, I got sick that time. I had the flu. And if the supervisor had told me it was going to be this, this big deal emergency, I would have been there, man, and you know it. This man was just out to get me. Don't be putting that on me, bro. You know, I'm through with it. Hey, you want to talk? Hmm. Well, you want some apple juice? No, 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 baby, I gotta step off. Um, Sonny, you are coming to Grandma's birthday party, right? Yeah, probably. I'll see you later. Hey, Sonny. I'm glad about the team dryouts. Take care. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like talking about Sonny anymore tonight, okay? Okay, I really... He didn't hustle you out any more money, did he? No, he did not, Ted. And it isn't Sonny I want to talk about. It's the kids. Okay. What about them? Hmm? Well, it's what I started to say before. About threatening. Oh, come on, Look, I don't think that the kids can learn anything by scaring them yeah. or hitting them or yelling orders at them without giving them reasons or choices. Reasons? Yes. Choices? Yes. Sandy, come on now. You know, this isn't school. This isn't no, no, no theories and no textbooks. Yeah, this is life. Real life, you know? Reasons. Choices. Come on now, Sandy. It makes sense, okay? Now, you and I both know that we got hit plenty when we were kids, right? Why? Because our parents loved us. My mother knew that she couldn't let me and Sonny just go running wild into this world, you know, thinking that we could do anything that we want, any time and any place. No. When she and my dad beat us, it was so nobody else ever would. Now, don't you understand that? Then what went wrong with Sonny? Where's the toothpaste? Look, baby. I want my kids to be able to control themselves when they get older, you know? Not go running off into all kind of directions when the pressure starts. What if the kids learn to behave well just, just so they don't get punished in some way? That's no good, baby. You know, you haven't heard a word I've said. Mama, help me. Mama. 
Mark, sit down. Look, here, honey, you can watch the picture develop till the ice cream comes. Oh, I'll get it, Pop. That's the ice cream, man? It looks like your Uncle Everett. Hey, bro. Hey, What's going on, man? Hey, hey, where's the birthday girl? My friend. Oh, you hey. got here. Oh. <laughs> now, don't you make me dizzy now. You go sit down over there and take that hat off. I'm going to get uh, you a plate. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Uncle Say, you got some ice cream and huh? cake. Yeah. We decided you weren't coming. Yeah, missed dinner, huh? Yeah, well, I, I'd have been here sooner, but uh, ran into a little cash flow problem last night. Couldn't get Mom's present till just now. So, where's your foxy lady, man? Everett, I've told you before about using that street language in this house. Mark, you take your sister and go on in the living room. No, Daddy, not until I my ice cream and cake. Mark, you don't say no to your father. Now, you get out of that chair and go in the living room like I told you to, or you won't have any dessert at all. Wow, man. You really are a cold chip off the old block. And just what is that Sonny, supposed to I mean? I told you to cool. I told you to stay off my case, Ted. And I'm telling you that there'll be no loud argument, especially not at your mother's oh, birthday party. Of course, party. Ted, what's wrong? Sandy, just leave them alone. They're OK, OK? Yeah, Sandy. Don't get Ted any madder than he already is. He might start knocking down the walls. <laughs> Mighty Ted Marshall. Stomping through the jungle, pushing aside all wrongdoers. But when his own brother needs him to sit down and rap with him a little while, give me a little respect like I'm always being asked to respect you all. Well, you've got to earn respect, Everett. It doesn't come floating down the street in the backseat of a Cadillac. Start to grow up and respect yourself. Your father is right, Everett. Oh, yeah. Respect yourself. <laughs> Isn't that by the uh, stable singers? Don't challenge me in this house, boy. I'll knock you down. You're never too old for that. You hear me? Sonny, Daddy Marshall, please stop this. For once and for all, stop it. Dad, the kids don't understand. Yeah, well, why not? Everybody else does. <laughs> you might as well get started early. Dad, Sonny was just trying to tell Ted, you that... Ted, you had better take your family on home now. Want to stop and get the kids some ice cream? Daddy, can we have some ice cream? Ma Mark, what are you doing standing up like that? Now you sit back down and put on that seatbelt. Daddy, why do I have to wear a seatbelt? What? Because I told you because to. Because if Daddy had to stop the car suddenly, you might get hurt. Okay, Mommy. You want some ice cream? Well, what flavor do you want? Chocolate or vanilla? Boy, I wish I could be like that, Mother. But it's hard. I mean, she had the patience of a saint. It's hard when your kid's coming home saying, give me this, give me this, I want, I want. You just sort of want to just do I think, something. though, yeah, yes. But I think what we're, what we're trying to say is that it's something to strive for. You want to be able to give your child some choices and reasons for, for why you're disciplining them. So, so, so it's a, a long range effect. He turns into a, an adult who is autonomous and self-controlled. 
You, know, you want him to be able to make his decisions, be, not out of fear or out of um, someone's going to smack him, but because he knows that it's right inside of him. That makes sense. You're going to see uh, a, a lady in this next uh, documentary bit here who I wish had a major part in raising my child. Raising our child? I wish she had a major part in raising us now. Well, I, I think children have to grow, um, and part of this growth is finding inside how much, you know, what their strengths are, and part of this they have to push against somebody. The discipline, I guess, comes at this stage. It, you know, if you come sweeping in and just scrunch down on a child when he's pushing, um, and this is, you know, a lot of the children fighting one another is a part of this pushing experience and if you say no stop dead in your tracks kid um they're not going to do it they're going to continue resenting you the other child they're likely to turn around and do something equally negative and Duncan helmet so it's my turn but if you come up and say look instead of doing that would you like to do this or that their energy is then turned to making a decision for themselves they feel as though they're sort of they feel as though they're self-reliant because they are making a decision and they go off happily doing something, something else that's creative. How about you both hide and I'll count? Or how about I hide and you both count? Yeah, yeah, you hide, hide! All right, you count. It works a surprising amount of time, but the trouble is it's hard work doing it, particularly at the end of the day when, you know, you're tired, they're tired. Do you want to put them in the dishwasher? This is where I find it's very good for them to feel they're contributing to the household. They sort of feel that not only do they have a positive alternative there, something very worthwhile, um, they feel good about it. My head's going to get stuck in a plane. Footsteps to follow, footsteps to make, moments of life, wishing to take them over and over with never an end. Take a step backward and take them again, following, following, but making a path of their own. They can travel and make it alone. The time is coming, we'll look for the day. With someone to guide them, they'll make their own way. Footsteps to follow, footsteps to make. New things to learn, a new lesson to take. Learning from every success and mistake. Footsteps. Footsteps to follow, footsteps to make. Footsteps. This program has been recommended by the National Education Association.